get y'all then steps up. Let's go. We be mobbing. Keep my ass in. Backlock. All my niggas, fellas, and we be strapped. And we be on that. Backlock. My ops, killers, they trying to get us, but they sliding through. Who the gills, man? Backlock. Got the Uzi down packed that well. You did that, Wallo. You did that. <laughs> you did that, Wallo. Yeah, I get that. That's definitely the Uzi. We ripped them all, fucked up the club. You know it come from that. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, that right there was. Mike Knox, Mike back Knox. block. That's now, a yeah, banger, man. Yeah, for a lot of people that didn't know, I, sure. I, 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 I ruled a lot of Mike Mike Knox project. I used to write for him and Gil when I was in jail. Too, I'm, I'm a writer. For people that don't know, that I ain't gonna put it out there. But <laughs> you now too writer. into me 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 don't call me white girl. But call a white girl because you look like a white girl. When you see it, don't call a Mona. Call don't a white call girl. girl. Tony the Tackler. What's up, yo? Listen, and this is powered by Barstool Sports. We're going to get straight into the, one of our first sponsors. Uh, a lot of you guys is having problems when it comes to the ladies department, and it's time to get busy. And uh, you can't activate what you need to be activated in order to activate what you're trying to do with the lady. So one thing I like about Roman Swipes is uh, uh, Gil was having some problems with Gene. I gave them to him because they had to test them out. And they worked. What he did was, all he did was open the pack, swiped it on, or just like a little wipe. He wiped it on himself, let it dry. It was party time. He said, man, wow, you saved me, man. He called me. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning one time. I was asleep. I had like 15 missed calls. Oh, man, you brought me back. Man, I was out the game. My piece, my piece checked out on me, man. My piece been gone, man. I've been lost my piece, man. Bro, you know, this, one, thing, one thing about the Roman swipe, what they do is, you know, and uh, you got to go to uh, GetRoman.com. It's G-E-T-R-O-N. M A N dot com forward slash million, right? You, that's what you got to do. You got to do that. And what you do is you go and get the Roman swipes. One thing about them, they small, they discreet. You can stuff them in your wallet. It's just low key. Just low key. Uh, Mona, I'm pretty sure a lot of guys you need probably, uh, probably you know, checked out, but uh, like Gil, because Gil is up in age. And when you peace check out, but you know, it's peace checked out on him. A lot of you guys peace checking out, and it's just like, oh man, I can't do nothing. No, listen, man, this is just so easy to use. All you do is take the swipe out the package, you swipe it on, let it dry, and you're good to go. You're good to listen. But once again, what you do is to get the Roman swipe. I'm talking about once again, they discreet. You can put them in your wallet, you can hide them, you can do whatever you think. And you want to bring that beat back, like Gil brought that beat back because he was out of the game. He's back in the game. Roman put Gil back in the game. Like, just imagine you're a star player. Then all of a sudden, you, you keep shooting and you just keep hitting air balls. So now they put you on the bench and you deep in the bench. So he was on the bench looking like, oh, man, I wish I can get in the game. I, he keep reminiscing on who he was. He's telling the younger players, oh, man, I used to be in the game. I was just in the third. I, you know, Roman swipe put him back in the court. He's back on the court, man. So go to GetRoman.com forward slash million. And it's just like that. He out here putting a lot of fucking <laughs> mustard on my jacket today. Like, I'm going to let game. you live, though. I'm going to let you live for putting the mustard all on my jacket. Let's get into me and Osworth for game. Yeah, man. I want to talk to you youngins, right? Because. It's not just the youngest. No, 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 it's no, 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 no. Period. But but listen, but but I, but see, one thing about me, I you don't concentrate. Youngest, I don't youngest, concentrate on the old niggas. I, yeah, talk, I concentrate on the youngins and the youngins that I deal with on a daily basis. You feel what I'm saying? So all the youngins out there, right? Learn how to take constructive criticism. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all can be around somebody who got all the knowledge. To, to give you the game of what it's going to take for you to win. Yep. And instead of embracing it and listening and then taking that knowledge, y'all turn it into 
oh he hating he and a lot of times y'all let y'all y'all let other people's opinions turn into emotions like um, another motherfucker's opinions an, another motherfucker opinion will activate your emotions because a motherfucker tell you oh no i don't like that song or that's just an opinion bro but now all of a sudden you you let it activate your emotions you all emotional all oh, them niggas be hating on me and a motherfucker wallow bump into a young boy at the gas station he get his young boy all the game he needed to hear. I guarantee you that that young boy left that gas station and called Wallow the old nut ass nigga. I'm just keeping it real with it. Can you explain explain to them that the conversation you had with this youngin at the gas station, man? I had a conversation with this one young boy and he just didn't understand it. He was talking about how he do this music and all that. I'm just giving the game like, listen youngin, I'm not telling you that you're not good. I'm telling you that it's, the, the way this game is set up it's like a couple things you need to be. I'm just telling you, hey, your infrastructure right. It's cool that you rap, and he just was rapping to be rapping out here. Yeah, I'm hot. Everybody say I'm hot around the way. I said, all right, young boy, you got your song. This is how you do it. This is how you get your stuff on iTunes. This is how you get your link tree. The link tree, link to what's the name again? Put your YouTube in there. I'm, I'm giving him all that. He like, but no, man, like I'm hot. Like you ain't even understand what I'm saying over here. I'm hot. Like people keep saying I'm hot. I'm like, okay, I'm not talking about <laughs> you being hot. I understand you saying you hot, and I understand the people that know you say you hot. That's not what I'm talking about. You might be hot. What I'm telling you is I'm giving you the business side of the game because you got to, listen, business do business with business. So at the end of the day, when they, they trying to write these checks to a furniture company, which is a LLC. So they trying to be trying to, you ain't, I'm just trying to tell you to get your stuff in order so you can have your infrastructure. And when they see you, they like, damn, we just, all we need to do is just get this nigga some bread. He already on his way. But you telling me you just rap. Do you know what I mean? People just rap. And, I, and I'm like, damn, young and like, we live in Philly. It's 50,000 niggas that rap. Facts. I'm just trying to give you the information so you can separate yourself and you can have your whole front so you can know you can know how to upload, how to get paid for your songs, how to just upload a song anytime you want through right. Distro Kid, how to do all this, how to have a link tree, how to have a YouTube right. so you can get your stuff, so you can get the monetization for the YouTube, get a certain amount of view. That's all I try to get this boy the whole time. Like, no, oh, yeah, like, that's crazy. I'm trying to, like, he was getting emotional. I'm like, oh, young, and I'm just giving you the game. And it's like, damn, you can't even give nobody game. We living in a time now where it's though, you can't say nothing to nobody. You can't give them no opinion. You can't try to enhance their shit. Everybody's whole thing is, if you don't say yes right now, or if you don't agree with what they got going you hating. on, you hating or- They get ultra emotional. They get, I'm talking about, it's to the, it's to the point right now where it's though, the most disrespect, <clears throat> like it's two things. The most disrespectful thing you could do in the, in the hood now and especially with the social media, everybody want to be popular, all right? everybody super emotional, is two things. Number one is don't agree with what they got going on and they feel as though it's the master plan already, even though you might be giving them information to enhance their shit. If you don't, a lot of people, no, man, I'm saying I don't need that. You ain't even, they, they be tripping about that. And number two, like, you can't even tell nobody the most disrespectful thing you can say in the black community is no or not right now. I'm, on, I'm doing something. Like, you got motherfuckers out here want, to, want you to stop your whole program in order to give attention to what they got going on. Fuck what you doing. Right. Just because today they feel like doing something. I want to do something today. Facts. I want to do something today. All of a sudden, fuck Facts. what you doing. Fuck what you got established. Fuck, fuck, fuck your whole enterprise and your whole company and what you doing. I need you to do this, then a third. Soon as you say, no, I can't do that right now. I'm on another mission. I'm doing something. Motherfuckers lose their mind. That's like spitting in somebody's face in the black community. Yeah. Right. And, 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 and I'm going to tell, tell y'all like this, man. Respect a nigga brand, man. Please. Mm. Mm. <laughs> like, like, respect a nigga's brand, man. When a motherfucker work hard for their brand and they work hard to build up something for themselves, respect that shit. Like, cause, cause Wallow would tell you, I don't give a fuck who it is. My motherfucking mom called me, yo, Roddy, uh, your little cousin, he just put a, a, a clothing company out. Post him up. My little cousin who? <laughs> Jamar. I don't know that nigga. I'm not posting that shit up just because he my fucking cousin and he did. Then I go to the nigga page, nigga, I one shirt. <laughs> That's so just how respect a nigga brand, man. Because I don't give a fuck of you. My mother, my brother, my father, my sister, my kids, Tootie. Respect a nigga brand, man. 
And that don't, don't that that don't just go for me. That go for everybody out here that work hard to build up their fucking brand, man. Like y'all think y'all think that uh, y'all sit back and see a motherfucker build their brand up, and y'all y'all think that shit came easy. <laughs> And just because you know a motherfucker, they supposed to just look the fuck out for you. A nigga who ain't sat around, ain't built shit up. It ain't like you meeting a nigga halfway. You got a hustle going on. You you got proof of, of concept. You, a concept that you got a hustle going on. No, 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 no. Oh, I just started my, my t-shirt company today. Post me up. Get the fuck out of here, man. Respect a motherfucker hustle, man. Respect a nigga grind, man. Because when you finally decide to put the fucking work in and get your own fucking brand that you put hundreds and thousands of fucking hours and fucking days in building your shit up, you gonna want a motherfucker to respect your shit. Thanks. Sorry, Got a little bit personal with me. No, I like that. No, I feel the same way. People come to my DM all the time, throw this up, post this up. I make money promoting shit. It's not and not only that, I don't promote just anything. Like I don't just promote whatever you have to sell. You gotta have something that's worth to me promoting. Cause I want the people to be able to trust what I'm saying. Oh, you should try this out. So yeah, I wanna try your product out and you have to pay me to do that. To try it and post it. And I don't owe you nothing. I don't owe you shit. And it really feels like that. Like, it's just lazy. Like, a lot of y'all just sit home, you're jealous of what other people have. And then the first chance you get, you try to throw some money into something. And then you end up with a box of shit in your basement because you're not pushing it. You're not putting the effort in to really to, to market it. And the, Like, how do you have a clothing line and you don't think you're going to pay for advertisement or pay for promotion? Like, how the fuck is that not in your plans? And it's like, I have people really, like, real deal, like, no, my shit is fire. And that's why you should, like, no, that's not how shit works. And if that's your baby, put some fucking effort into your investment. Like, really push that shit. Make that shit day and night. Other than that, what was the point? Because I don't owe you shit. If you got a business and people don't know about it, the business don't exist. <laughs> Period. Right? It's like a lot of y'all think that. And it's at the end of the debate, it always is, oh, yeah, y'all take social media too serious. You got it, sis. You take this Instagram shit too serious. Instagram pay the bills, okay? Tell them again. Instagram pay the bills. It's mm -hmm. big money on Instagram. But, I, that, but that's how they try to downplay your shit. Ain't mm -hmm. it funny? You, you come to me because <laughs> you want me to post your shit. Uh-huh. But when I tell you I need a check, now it ain't that deep. You the victim. It ain't even that deep, sis. You take I Instagram take it. too it's not deep. That, like, no, nigga. bitch, you you not taking your clothing <laughs> line deep enough. At all. <laughs> Facts. At all. You thought you oh you thought because oh you came out with a clothing line and you got a little fat ass on you and your titties sitting all up on the fence puppies trying to hop the gate and you got the little pretty little <laughs> face with your little hair coming down you thought the nigga was gonna post you naked ass bitch I don't give a fuck shit, about none bro. of that pay, I got two baby. at the crib I don't give a fuck about none of that <laughs> another nigga gonna throw a sausage in your mouth. <laughs> It's not that deep. I ain't throwing this sausage in your fucking mouth. So how the fuck do I benefit? Let me tell you something. I show a lot of niggas love on the strength. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because that's what God placed on my heart at that motherfucking time. Right. And they wasn't asking for no love. And it love. was your choice. Your they wasn't choice. asking for no love. That shit was genuine. Right. They was just sitting there. I might have been busting it up with a young nigga. He tell me his motherfucking situation, but he ain't asking for no love. Right. He be just talking. You can see the genuine shit in him. And then I just say, you know what, young, and I want to bless you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to stress you. I want to bless you, nigga. Let's get it. Speak but on. that's because that's what God put on my heart that day. Ain't no motherfucker ever going to jump in my DM and think they're going to put some pressure on a nigga. Post that up for me. Okay. Old head. Jump off the bridge, nigga. And if you live, when you when you go through the school kill, when they take you all down, then I'll post your shit up. Yep. All right. But until then, nigga, fuck you can get the fuck out of here, man. I post up what I want to post up, man. Yeah. Send me your shit and say, OG, check me out. 
to tell me if my shit hot or not. Then you might see yourself in my top nine. Damn, shout out to this young boy, but you ain't gonna get me with the throw me up, old head. No. How about when they try to hit you with the positive shit? Well, I, I know that you, you know, you I know you be looking out for the young niggas. Yeah, I look so out for young niggas this. that I want to look out for. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the that's thing. A lot of niggas try to do the wall up. They try to yeah. run up in your DM and be like, oh, I see you talking about black people, sister. This is all positive. These t shirts, this is positive. This one say Black Lives Matter. This one. Well, who fucking gets the money at these other t shirt, nigga? You. Like, it's not going to an organization. You ask for a favor because it's a positive message. It's still your money. It's your check. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because it's mostly men. Women come correct to my DM. Cash app ready all the time on a regular basis. It's important that people uh, understand investing in your business. Yeah. A lot of entrepreneurs right now, they want to take shortcuts. But the number one thing you can do to get your return is to invest in people that already got a brand. They got a trusted audience, you know. When when people have a trusted audience, you got your product, and you gotta ha you gotta be ready. Like like we always talk about, be ready to catch that 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 alley oop when somebody puts yeah, you there too. I'll be talking about having having infrastructure yeah. in play. But my whole thing is this: if you're out there and you're starting a business, make sure you have a marketing budget when you're starting a business. Mm -hmm. Like that's a part of the business. Yes. It ain't the part I know so and so, so and so, so and so, right. so and so, because you might know these people, but. They get paid to advertise shit. You're like I don't making your business like, on a favor. Like like I don't like I don't I don't, I don't even talk about numbers, but if motherfuckers knew with Instagram, like my my Instagram business is bigger than businesses. They get money. <laughs> Big businesses that you see out here. I, this is a business. Morning. Like this shit is Talk really heavy, a business. Like, <laughs> like I ain't. Morning. I like, mean, them niggas seen Lil Boosie. Mark, man, turn my shit on, yeah. man. Yeah. I got drops and shit I got to do, man. Yeah, if I fucked up, man, I'm street. sorry, man. Yes. For yeah, real, man. Back Give me my shit back, man. I got people <laughs> shit I got to post, hey, that, man. Hey, look, you lose your IG. You fucked over. And look, Boosie's are somebody that was in the street. So he seen money, street money, entertainment money, Instagram money, real money. Y'all think it's a fucking game. I'm talking about game. Instagram so much crazy. of this shit. I'm going to just say this, not to say this, but uh, me and Gil got people at Instagram. Like we really like this ain't no we just mm. Can y'all help me get a blue check? No, we don't do small shit like that, but we got people <laughs> that, yeah, that, that respect us in the house on the building. But wait, wait hold on, wait, wait. We might get we might don't get you a blue check, but we can get you a new check. I'm with it. New check. God damn. <laughs> okay. God damn, god damn. Listen, oh yeah, uh -huh. that money for real though. Seriously, that Instagram money. Y'all can throw y'all little jabs and shit, but a lot of y'all chasing. That's why it's just better if you just really, really look into what you're doing before you get into it. Right. Like research what you're doing. Then you would know you need a marketing budget. You would already like, know. Like, that. I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna just put it like this. On a small end, you supposed to get this is a small end for like people that's like probably ain't got the engagement. Engagement count on another level. Me and Gil got some crazy engagement. I would say this on a, on a small end. You supposed to get a thousand dollars per hundred thousand followers on a small, and that's like small shit. Think about that. A thousand dollars. So when you're looking at dudes with these big numbers, million followers, half a million people, people are already getting serious for one post. That's one, one post. post. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be mindful when you step into somebody telling them some this and they get in business and somebody just, you know, and I understand everybody doing their thing, but a motherfucker got. 600,000 followers, somebody just gave him six grand to put one fucking post up there for right. 24 hours and you coming to them, man, you want some nut shit? No. Yeah. Like, this they business. For real. And you can't have a brand fucked up. Right. Now, you got people like me and Gil that, 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 that look out, all right, be thankful, but don't nobody owe you shit because right. at the end of the day, I remember one day Gil sitting in the crease, damn, wow, you looked out for, you know, I look, I remember one time, I, you know, I was making money off of selling my t-shirts but, but you I, were making money off Instagram. Listen, because I was, I was, there's no bullshit. I was living, and, and Gil said some deep shit one time. This one, I was first came home, I'm living with Nanny. I, I probably told you did, enough was I probably, enough. I nigga. probably did about 365 fucking commercials for people, threw people up, threw rappers up, do it, boom, 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 everybody. I'm talking about did every, all type of shit. Gil said some shit to me one time. He said, damn, Lo, you know, boom, boom, boom. I said, okay, you right. You right. The first commercial, I made $500 mm. for, for one minute. I made $500. Like two weeks later, later I got seven fifty, and I just keep running. I just, I'm talking about, I wasn't even home six months. So mm. Instagram, like a lot of people just, and then after that, I'm talking, about I wasn't home eight months. I was in the thousands. Mm. So Cause at, I understand, at, cause at, nobody at was doing it like that. Way. At the end of the day too, he put the work put in. Put the work in, build the brand. Mm -hmm. He put the work in. So let's get into our second sponsor, man. Daddy's. Daddy, you can shake it, you can shake, 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 shake. 
Oh. Shake, shake, shake. Oh. Ah, I got the baby in the cup. Uh-huh. Put it in the cup. Storage it up. Hey, listen. Game time. One in that, one in that, one in seven couples experience infertility. Men are responsible for half of all known infertility cases. One in ten men are infantile. Daddies is here to normalize normalize the conversation around men reproductive health we want to make the process of fertility testing and sperm banking as comfortable convenient cost effective as possible no longer do you have to travel to a sperm bank masturbate in an uncomfortable room and wait weeks to receive results daddy has developed a high-tech at-home sperm collection kit bam there you go look at that drop the cup you drop the uh the lid yeah but you, but you shake and bake up in here yeah, you shake and bake look up this, in joint. This, is, this joint is a safe look at yeah. this yeah this is a fucking safe. That's a safe for your babies. Yeah, hey, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, my, oh my, my son. I got my son. Let me put my son. Let me make sure he's safe. Yep. Wham. Put him right up in there. Yep. He's safe. He's baby protected. Baby safe. This is like a baby daycare. Yeah. Or, or, or that's like, uh, that's like uh, Gross. One, one, for rich kids. Like, Look, like, bang, like, put him up in here. That's like for rich kids, like uh, Kanye West kids, Northwest and all that. It's like the security. You lock it. Listen, he put the security, like security on it. Right Send there. it right back to the lab. The lab frees your stuff. Hold it. So when you ever you ready. And cause you never know, your, your piece might go out like Gil piece went out, and I don't, you know, I mean, his piece went out on him. And, right, but you keep talking about my piece went out. I'm just saying, out, like, I'm just saying if, if you, you know, you don't want your sperm count to go down. So you, while you now, you young, you strong, you doing it. Ah, you shake the dice, throw it up in here, and then you protect it. So you go from okay, let me put my baby in here. Okay, let me get somebody to watch my baby daycare. Mm-hmm. Bang! This joint is like <laughs> semen daycare. Mm-hmm. Put the joint on there. Wham! Lock it. Absolutely. Send it to them, and they hold it. And Daddy uh, ha- has a. Uh, Develop a high tech, which you know, kit right there, which allows tests and to store your sperm all without leaving the comfort of your own home. And you get the results in 24 hours. These services usually cost thousands of dollars through a sperm bank, yes, not with daddies. Nope, home kit $199 that you let you store all your kids right in there. Whip, whip, they cool, safe, they at the daycare. daycare. Yep. Wham, they cool, off the market. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Just waiting on you. I bring you home from daycare when I'm ready. Yep. There you go. Ugh. And uh, at the end of the day, because Daddy is huge fans of Barstool Sports, anybody that's listening to our podcast, and you go to daddyskit.com, D-A-D-I-K-I-T.com, and you insert the code GAME50 at checkout to order your kit today, you'll receive $50 off. Go get with Daddy. Save the kids. Let's get into um, talking about people knowing what they bring to the table Mm-mm-mm. and knowing what role to play. I'm going to say this. You got to know your strengths and respect your weaknesses. And when you a team player, like me, I'm the type of guy that when I play basketball, people And what does team mean? Together, each achieve more. Okay. One thing, I'm the type of guy like this. A lot of people say my game is sort of like uh, Dennis Rodman, Bill Lambert. I grab rebounds and uh, foul people. You are a bum. No, I'm not. I'm not no you fucking bum. I got to and, and, and some people call. And some people I dropped call me you red. off though. I ain't worried about that. They don't count. You're old people. I took it nice on you. you uh, and listen, basketball? listen. Yeah, I play oh, yeah. basketball. Everybody I, I know. Everybody know I play shit. basketball. Fuck you, man. Gilly. Ball I beat him and Gilly. But but really? this the old yeah, twist. Yeah, beat both of them. He's lying. No, but this the old twist. He's, he's a fucking football player on the basketball court. Right. But that's an attorney to tackle. Look at his name. He was tackling us out there, following the shit and anything. But listen, one thing about me is this. Like a lot of people, you know what they were saying? Like from seeing the video, they was like. I'm sort of like Reggie Miller and, and uh, Ray Allen. Fuck they, out you know, of they, here. No, they know. They, they, they really do. They say, nigga, you're like fucking said that? Stanley a fucking of, Roberts. A lot of people. A lot of people, <laughs> lot of people say my game. Said. So what happened is, this is this is what happened. Peep game. So when you're a team player, you got to know your fucking role. See, everybody, we're living in an Instagram where we though. Everybody got to be the star. No, you could be a part of the journey with the star. You're still part of the team when the team win. You win. Right. But a lot of people be saying, oh, no, I just want to take from the table. All right, what you bringing for the table? Like I keep telling people, dudes always, I run into dudes, you know, whatever artists, whatever uh, fashion designer, whatever, and they'll pull up on me. They got two, three people with them. they like, yeah, I got to get a cameraman. I got to get this. I said, your homie right there, the cameraman. Your other homie right here, he the DJ. Him right here, he just fucking security. Everybody right there, this is your assistant. You got 15 people with you, but nobody, everybody too cool to really help the team. Mm -hmm. They just want to take from the fucking table. All right, so what you bring into the table? You pulled up to the table. It already got the silverware. Your your homie, he got the the fish. He got the chicken. He got the baked macaroni and cheese. He got got everything. You ain't bring shit to the table. You taking from the table, though. Right. Fuck. And and I'm going to say this, man. If, If you got niggas around you 
and they don't support what you got going on, love them niggas from a distance, man. Because, because if if I'm around him every day and I don't support what he got going on, I don't believe what he got going on. It's no way I can you feed you him. I wanted to, I, 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 I no way you ain't want to go. You're there's no about, way I can feed him positive journey. energy. There's no way I can feed him positive energy if I don't believe in what he got going on. And energy is everything. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to love a motherfucker from a distance. The best thing you can do in life is get the just in case niggas away from Just you. in case. Just in case. If you make it, I want to be around. Just in case. They really not around, but they hold things like, damn, it's, it's just in case this motherfucker pop. I want to be a How part of the party. How can you tell who those people are? They show you. They give because you signs. Pay you. attention to the signs. Tell me. Okay. Prime example, um, if you got, say if you a rapper, right? Mm -hmm. You got all these niggas that be with you every day. They come to the studio. They, they, but then your album come out and the picture on they on they avi, it ain't your album cover. It's them standing on the block like this. Why? Mm -hmm. Why, if you for the cause, why you ain't make your man pitch it? Whole team pitch it gotta be the Avi. Right. The whole team pitch it gotta, this is a movement. People believe in movements. Mm -hmm. right. You feel what I'm saying to him? You over here with the hiccup, hiccup like an old ass wine up. What the fuck yeah. is going on? You drink That's a black and mild fucking with your lungs. No, that was in 40. She drank 40s on the low. I ain't she did. It out the year with two oh. 11s. I hurricanes. don't drink at all. She drink hurricanes like too. Kill. Shout out you to were E40. making a good point. Hurricane. You it all up. No, I'm just saying because you look like an OE killer. I had a little you know hiccup. So, what was I saying though? You were saying um, the, that the, the whole heavy. team. The the so, so at the end of the day, it's like you know, as a person, you know when your homies fuck with you. You know when your homies is a feeling. You know when your homies support you. You know a motherfucker who genuinely got love for you, who genuinely want to see you win. And a lot of times, these niggas hang with him, and they know this nigga don't really want to see me win 100%. He don't believe him, and they still hang with the nigga. Mm -hmm. See, me, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the slicing and dicing. I cut niggas off. I, I, I hand niggas the rope, let them hang themselves. Mm. I hand niggas the shovel, let them dig the grave. I just push a motherfucker in it. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So the, the faster you learn that in life, the better you will be off in life, man. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Because a, 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 just in, a just in case nigga today is going to be a just in case nigga tomorrow. But he just got different motives. Mm -hmm. Because you winning so now, but then as soon as you go back to losing, he gonna jump right back off the boat. That's how these niggas is. That's real. Yeah. You That's feel what I'm saying? Real. So let's get into uh, let's get into our third sponsor, man. CBDMD. Yeah. Right. As a leader in the CBD industry, CBDMD is committed to providing high quality THC free CBD oils. Whether you're gunning. For, for a race and an Olympic gold medal, you need to stay at the top of your game. And with so many world-class professional athletes turning to CBDMD, you can, sh you can sure you're getting the safest and cleanest product on the market. From tinctures to topical to bath bombs and even pet products, they've got something for everyone. To make it easier to discover the potential of CBD for yourself, CBDMD, Offering all of our listeners 25% off your purchase when you use the promo code GAME. Once again, CBDMD, promo code GAME for 25% off your order of premium CBD oils products from CBDMD. So, man, shout out to C. You know I got all the CBD at the crib, man. If you got back pain, you, you they got soaps, they got lotions, they got oils, they got everything man and cbd if you don't know is the wave of the future man so uh when y'all get a chance man go on cbdmd.com and check it out make sure you use the promo code game to receive 25 percent off cbd is the wave you don't want to go anywhere but cbdmd trust me right uh, let's get into uh this is gonna be a good one man top 10 
New York songs of all time. Annie up. Kidnap that. Annie up. I don't know. If Smack in that. There. I don't know if Annie up is in there. I know Biggie. Give me. I know Biggie. One more chance is in there. Okay. Absolutely. How's Annie up not on there? No. All right. This time I go. Are y'all crazy? Dougie Fresh the show. Come on. No, no, I'm that is that is. You talking about an all time ten? Right, Mob Deep shook ones. Wu Tang King, Wu Tang Clan, protect your neck. No. Yes, the fuck is yeah. wrong with you? Oh, we got to know. We got yeah. slots for Nas and slots for Jay. They both going in there. Uh, a hard knock life. Hard yes. knock life. No. Jay. You what? fucking. Cre- I disagree with everything y'all. You're saying. a fucking hater. <laughs> uh, Nas. Uh, if I rule the world. No, 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 no. It's no, definitely no. if I yes. rule the world. That's the one. Yes, Duh. bro. That's not, yo. If I rule the world. Yeah, absolutely. I love him, love All right. him, baby. You can give Nas that. Um, Cream. No. You, you, no. You, I, I would throw Wu in there two times. But no. Right, no. All right, here no, you no, go. No. Here you go. DMX, get at me, dog. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Finally, y'all That's talking that. about some 50 shit. Cent, Fifty Cent in the club. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm I would have said many about, men, not no, in the, in the club. club. No, no, we not, we not going. That sold 10 oh, we million. talking about singles. Okay. What about what we about talking about singles? We just talking about what about Ja Rule? Holla, 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 no, no, holla. No, 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 not that one. It's, no, it's a it's a singing joint. It's one of his singing joints. When would I be without you? I'm tired of being lonely. Up. That's it. He had, well, he definitely had, Ja Rule had hits. We definitely got Ja Rule in there. Bobby no fucking Schmurder. Yeah, put Juicy in there. No. He Bobby Schmurder. We don't want to double back, and there's so many people, because I'm from, you know, I'm a hip-hop historian, so. I We're not going to put what Bobby Schmurder on the list? What about Fool? No. Yeah, Payton, what are we talking I, about? Hey, hey, you got to put Payton Fool in there, bro. Hey, this Rock is Kim. ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Bobby you Schmurder You got to put Payton Fool in there, dog. Public Enemy got going there. Damn. Yeah, y'all are no, no, yeah. Public Enemy from New York? Yeah, Tribe Called Quest. Oh, shit. First of all, first of all, no. Okay? No, not no fucking Tribe Bob, Quest. Bobby Schmurder is on the list. No, Bobby Schmurder ain't on the fucking list. But there's so many songs. Free Bobby Schmurder. Snapping them comments Man, I don't about give a that. Fuck with, you Listen, all, computers and... Let me ask you a question. Let me um, ask you a question. Just caught up Bobby Bobby a week ago. Let me ago. ask you a question. The nigga got a deal on the YouTube. That's free that's my the Schmurders. Bobby free Bobby Schmurder. That's, that's not my what we saying, but that's a huge thing. We talk about hits all time. Bobby Schmurder. You want to fuck Bobby. I'm going I'm to get, I'm 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 get soon Bobby come on. I'm going I'm <laughs> to let you get Bobby get some, some vicious brains. Like, they just. Now, now, now hold up, hold up. This is why it's hard. Me being a, a, a universally, internationally, locally accepted, uh, hip hop, respected hip hop historian. Who, who gave you that who title? Gave that who title? in the world said that who about you? I gave you that title? Sway you said always, that. No. Sway didn't say that shit. Sway told me and Sway, Sway was having a conversation. He told me <laughs> Fucking lying putting smut on Sway's so. name. You ain't got the answers. You ain't see that picture I took with Q-Tip one time? That's like, that's like credentials. Hey dog, we ain't say the locks. Oh, exactly. Got... The list sucks. Wow. Exactly. Listen, all right, you got the locks. DMX should be on the no, no, fucking no. list twice. Wait, wait, hold on. You all got right. the locks? No, 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 wait. You got Biggie, one more chance. No, 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 hold on. You got Biggie, one more chance, right? You got... Wait, fuck that. Hold on. Hold on. Tupac. Mm-hmm. It's oh, from New York. Come on, but they not... Hey, LL, rock the bell. <laughs> Damn, no, 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 no. What the fuck is Why are we so know? far back? Man? Fuck you, man. I'm a hip hop. Because, a because Damn, you gotta understand. You got hold, hold, no, hold, hold up. White girl, no. white girl. One thing. That one was thing. the foundation. Oh, hold, 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 hold up. Give, 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 give. Y'all not qualified to answer this. White girl. Why are you hollering? I'm going to be penalized because I'm a part of. I'm a his. I'm a historian. You don't. You're not a historian. I got to admit, you're gonna be penalized. I said penalized. He's a fucking smut. You gotta, you gotta say dudes like LL. That's why I said Dougie Fresh, the show, legendary. You got slick. Okay, Rick, got but the whole people. list can't be old niggas. I can't. Yo, we not forgetting about them. Fuck is you talking about? All right, well, that's fuck the it, problem. Man. We're, we're, it's nobody new on there. No. It's nothing new. No, because this this music is forgettable. A lot of music is forgettable. I ain't trying to knock nobody, but a lot that's of times knocking everybody. Okay, okay, no, it's okay, not. okay, okay. A lot okay, of motherfuckers okay, you not gonna remember okay, their music in two no, years. Okay, okay, no disrespect, no disrespect, right? Tell me one rapper, right? Of the new era, right? That lean back was my shit too. No, 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 no disrespect. Tell me one rapper from the new era who put a song out last year that we listening to this year. 
Some people make forgettable music. She she stuck. Um, there's no way I can answer that question. Mm-mm. Young thug. Can I just say something? We gonna listen to Dear Mama forever. Burn down 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 boom boom. Get at me, dog. Burn down 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 burn down 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 boom boom. I ain't mad at you. If I listen to you're gonna listen to Dead Mama. I ain't mad. All you gotta do is turn on any old school station right now. That shit gonna be on it. You know what else is gonna any be on it? Old school station. Uh, uh, you know why? Because in order to make it 20 years, it had to be a hell of a motherfucking hit when it was out. Okay. Yeah, I just know. asked you to tell me one record that came out last year that you're still listening to this fucking year and you couldn't fucking do it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Give me oh, a okay. All right, listen. These people that got a song in there, they got to have a song in there. Jay Z, Biggie, Nas, Wu Tang, DMX, 50 Cent, Ja Rule. I don't think Wu Tang got to be on the list. You out your fucking. Don't disrespect. Wow. Don't disrespect my knowledge. Because y'all said don't it was numbers. My, is it numbers you, or not? No, you're is disrespecting my certificate. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Is it numbers wait, or not? Wu Tang sold a quadrillion records. Okay, so what's the Where the fuck was you at? You're disrespecting I was my in history. Second you're disrespecting. Grade. Where was you at? You know what I like? You're all I need. Method Man and um, Method Man, Mary J. Blige. That, that's like these young niggas that say LeBron can fuck with Jordan. We, where the fuck was y'all with that? Oh, I was in my daddy nuts when Jordan was giving out Jordan 63 in Boston. Because like, oh, well, shut when the we fuck played up. ball back then, it was different from now. Like, I keep telling y'all, when Mike, me, when we all played ball back then. You. No, I played ball. What, what the fuck is you talking me. about? Because I already. Mike as in Jordan. You, I already dropped you. you off, bro. Yeah, no, because. See, see, let me just explain this something to the young boys. Well, I don't the young shut boys. Up. Let me say something, y'all. When I mention my name with Mike and all that, I'm talking about back in the day when we played ball. When you played play ball. ball with Michael Jordan. It's not about playing Mike. I played in the same time he was playing. He was playing in, in, in Chicago. In Chicago, I was you playing, playing in North Philly. Playgrounds in North Philly. So we played similar Alignment, games. Right. That's what I'm saying. So, so that makes sense. We played for real. Like you could follow a nigga and, and nothing happened. Like you <laughs> breathe on a fucking nigga. Like these dudes play soft now. I keep telling y'all. Play like pussies. They can, listen, none of them, not, Bill Lambert would have, these dudes would have gone to emergency room. They was going to the emergency room. All right, man. I can't sit here and listen to this nigga talk about. Well, fucking him playing basketball with the what? I play basketball. You fucking hate. You niggas be hating on my game. But listen, you, you listen. play a lot of pocket ball. I heard up the pen. Yeah, all right, whatever. But listen, we got DMX in there, right? Mm-hmm. Jay Z is in there. DMX, get at me, dog. All right, Jay Z. Hard knock life. Hard knock life. Biggie Smalls. Mm-hmm. One more chance. All right, Nas. If I rule the world. Bet. Wu Tang, protect your neck. Wu Tang, protect your neck. Mm-mm-mm. Dougie Fresh the show. Dougie Fresh no, the show. No, fuck that. We're not even gonna disrespect New York. You can't come up with ten. Oh, can't, you can't come up with ten fuck. songs. You can't. And I say any up, and they dismiss. Mob Deep shook one. They from Brooklyn. Mob Deep shook ones. You can't come. Listen, I love Lean Back too. That was my shit. That was my shit. See, y'all never could come. I could, I came up with my ten. Fuck with you. Ain't come up with no fucking ten. Yes, you I can't I come just up told, with no ten. I just told you, you come up with ten. You disrespecting some legends. I don't give a fuck. And I'm not. I can't cheat by putting Tupac on this. This is cheating. Biggie, one more chance. Motherfucking Tupac, any fucking song you want. Cheating. Jay-Z, Cheating. Hard Knock Life, Wu-Tang Clan, Protect Your Neck. Uh, Dougie Fresh, the show. I do Dougie like Fresh, Wu-Tang Clan, but y'all show, start talking shit right? in the comments. Uh, Mob Deep, Shook do. Ones. 36 Chambers. Uh, Nobody can come up with 10 of I listened to it. I did. I like Nas. my favorite one. Give LL Rock the Bells. Come on. Eric B. Rock M. Juvie. Oh, Juvie. what the fuck? Juvie. Eric I mean, B. Rock M is a fish. Ja Rule. Yeah, and Ja Rule. That's, that's my yeah, No, before. he's a fucking nut. You fucking the whole joint of Gil. All right, let me. Hey, hey. I like hey, Big Daddy Kane, though. Let, let, let us give y'all some game, right? Because so many motherfuckers be in my DM like, you know, and I don't be really having time to hit y'all back about <laughs> starting a podcast. They okay. Let me just let y'all know, right? Because everybody just think it's sweet. They just gonna start a podcast. They just going. I just want y'all to know, and it's y'all can do it. I just want you to know what you up against. Just understand, it's like six hundred thousand podcasts on Apple alone. I know what we do. We make that shit look 500, easy. 500,000, right? And it's over a million shows on Spotify. But it's not easy. 
We didn't just wake up one day and say, oh, we're going to do a podcast and it just worked. I've been doing million dollars worth of games since 2012. That's called putting a lot of leg work in. That was five years before Wallow even came home from jail. That's called putting a lot of leg work in. So for everybody who's sitting back and you got the ideas and you just think, oh, I'm going to start my podcast. But you ain't got no audience. You ain't putting no leg work in. You just looking from like... It's tinted windows on this limo, man. Mm -hmm. Where motherfuckers can see out and you can't see in, man. You trying to see in and you think you don't know what you don't know what's around, but what's in that motherfucking limo. So all of y'all with these great ideas, well, I'm gonna start my podcast. I'm gonna start my podcast. I'm gonna don't think that shit just gonna blow up for you. You gotta stay down, and sometimes you might have to. Sometimes you might have to get in a position where, though, the most important things. I'm gonna give y'all some tips. The most important things is. A audience. If you already got an audience, you got a movement, that's cool. But if you don't have an audience, I'm not saying you can't make nothing happen. Everything is possible. It's right. going to be hard to even get, to even chart. Like, people be trying to chart. That shit going to be hard. Because, number one, we had, let me give you the game about us. When we came out, within seven hours from the, from the movie dropped, uh, April, uh, I was in Utah. i never forget because I was watching the charts. Within seven hours, uh, we dropped, we was number 11 in comedy. And then within less than 15, 15, 16 hours, we was number four out of the top 500,000 podcasts on Apple. We was number four. And we was number two. And that's in all categories. And we was number two in comedy right under Joe Rogan. So what I'm saying is that we had, we had the people that wanted that for us and was ready for it. I'm not discouraged in telling nobody not to do it. But I'm going to give you all some tips on the things that we utilize uh, infrastructure-wise. Number one. We ran our podcast through Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout is an independent distributor that you pay a couple of dollars for. Buzzsprout gets your shit on, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, Skechers, uh, uh, I think I'm saying the name right, Stetcher, uh, uh, motherfucking uh, Google, everywhere. It gets your shit everywhere, and it gives you a bunch of data. And I'm talking about the audio part. See the, see, the most important part is the audio. That's how you sell ads and all that stuff. You, you know, you got YouTube too, right? You got Buzzsprout, you got YouTube, you got Linktree. And I'm going to tell you why these three is important. Talk to them. These three is important because... You want your visual. If you want a visual of your podcast, and you can shoot it, whatever. If you got an iPhone, you can shoot it, whatever. If you can afford these type of mics, you know what I mean? You can shoot, you know, these short mics or whatever. You, you know what I mean? Or the Zoom or whatever. The, uh, the, 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 the Rode Podmaster, Podcaster, whatever. Mm -hmm. There is different shit. different mics, whatever. But some people could just shoot it on their iPhone, shoot the audio, whatever. Now, this is why Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout, like I said, to get your shit to all these platforms. It gets you all over the place. Uh, all that type of stuff, right? Now... YouTube is important because people want to see the visual. You got people that want to see the visual, and you got people that want to see mm -hmm. the, hear the audio. Some people like to drive, some people, well, whatever. But you need a link tree. Link tree is important because link tree is where as though a person could just have that one link that you can sit around, your link in bio, your link, whatever. You can have yeah. it in your swipe if you got more than 10,000 followers on Instagram. But the link tree is very important because on the link tree, you got people that got different platforms. They say, like, if I'm not mistaken, like 75% of, 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 of Android users is black people. That's what I, you know, I'm not, check, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of people got Android, so some people need to hear it on a different platform. Some people might, like a lot of people don't have Apple to hear it on Apple. Some people mm -hmm. might listen to it on Spotify or Google Play, whatever they might listen to it. So when you have your link tree in, inside your link tree is you can put all the links to the things you got. You can have your website in there. You can have your merch in there. You can have your podcast to Apple, your mm -hmm. podcast to Spotify, your podcast to Google, your podcast to Stetcher, the visual podcast to YouTube. You can put it in all these different things. So... Don't be discouraged. Do your thing, but make sure you got your infrastructure right, and make sure you really, you really get, you, you can see your downloads. That's why I say running through Buzzsprout. When we was running our stuff through Buzzsprout, we seen people all over. No matter where you was at, if you was in a small town in uh, Michigan, um, in Michigan State, if you was in a small town in in Maine, we saw every town and how many people was listening to it, how many plays we got, how many listens. We seen all that shit every week. I was sending numbers around. And I would show, damn, we did this. We did 50,000. We did this. And we was part of the 1% of podcasts out here that do over 50,000 downloads. We was only part of 1%. Right. So a lot of people, they just think, all right, sweet, I'm going to do. And, it's, it's not sweet. And me telling you this is not to discourage no, you. No, no, sir. It's just me telling you this to let you know what you're up against. Yeah. It's like me telling a young nigga that want to rap. Like, you got to understand, it's 50,000 rappers in every city in America. So... But no, in this just, industry, just though, know what you up against. In this industry that we in, Gil, though, there's more podcasts than there's rappers in the industry. Like, there's more podcasts probably out here 
than rappers in the no. industry. You no. think it's more rappers? Absolutely. You think it's more than oh, five hundred thousand you know. rappers in Philly, man. Damn, yeah, you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know niggas' moms that rap. You know, I'm putting yeah, out what it's called, old ass city. bitch. Everywhere. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you put hey, city. It just feel like in Philly, everybody got the rap or poetry or singer something in right. Philly. Like nigga, God, mom dang. came to me, told me she put the motherfucking I old, believe OAB it. album out. Old ass bitch. Yeah, I believe it. She older than a motherfucker. The motherfucker missing teeth all of here. Told me she rap, bitch. If you don't cut it, the fuck out. You know what? And I'm gonna say something about music. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something about music. When I when I went and got Gil and I you know just to bring this up when I went and got hmm. Gil and took him to the studio when I was first managing him, I did not Gil. Thing. I was your manager. I well, took you to the studio. I went and got the logos done. You was not. You doing were the so. CEO of the figures, yeah. correct? Yeah, yeah. I was. A, I was a founder. You know, you know what I mean. CEO, your name and you was my manager. Like, Wallo, Wallo. That was just nothing. He was my. I was his manager. But a lot of dudes on my man. I give you money. Go get the logo done. Get the fuck out of here. You missed all the fun. That must have sucked. But listen, let me explain something to y'all that's very important. What was so great about my virginity in jail? You ain't even get to fuck no bitches on the major figure tip. Guard name, guard name, guard name. Bernard gave him some vicious rings. First time he ever. But listen, this this was so good about me and Gil. When me and Gil started our thing, we wasn't trying to be like nobody else in Philly. Young boys. This before. This one like probably was like, what, 15 different rap rap people in Philly and it was mostly groups. This before rap, this one rap was looking at, like you a nut ass nigga, you was rapping. That was like nut shit. Mm -hmm. I could be I'm like, come on cuz, we got it. We gonna get some money. I'm listening to Master P, I got his shit. I know he doing independent, I'm like, we gonna get his money. So what happened is, me and Gil said, oh damn, well we cool, cuz we wasn't rapping like nobody else. Our whole rap was fly nigga rap. Mm -hmm. And niggas wasn't, a lot of niggas wasn't doing that in Philly at the time in the way that we was doing. The people was rapping, but they was rapping like, the real hip hop, hip hop way. I flip shit like an acrobat. You know me, you know my shit is fat. That type yeah. of rap shit. I, I'm out of space in a place in a rate. Right? Yeah. That type what of rap. What you was talking about? What what was what was my first rap when I went to the studio? I told him get much loot, polo suit, Lexus, Cooper, the whole 13th Street money, green gator boots, spotting young boys O's to buy gear for they hoes. Got a little mob made up a little wild lows. Trying to get mad cash, young boys growing up too fast. The okay, boys, I was talking that shit. Yeah, so, what, so, what, so what did I say? You said some shit, dumb ones for dumb ones, slugs for bugs. I only roll with thugs and thugettes. That's my motto, motherfucker, my motto. Back in '88, I used to rock lottos. Now I empty more bottles. Dog bitches in the back of a vibe. Me and Wallow, slug to a near nigga, nigga wobble, Gilly the kid, there's no other. My trigger finger itchy like wool covers and going undercover. Like New York, nigga playing ice for the sport, taking bitches to the finest resort, spinning G's at ease, women <laughs> scraping up their knees and elbows. I'm pitiful, as I'm fuck withable. Niggas bite my shit cause they style a stocky. And my sister 16 and play more ice than hockey. Rock me, nigga. I got guns that can't miss you. And once the bullets hit you, they tearing up all the tissue. So fuck the rest of them. Gilly is the bust of them. And if you testing them, then you probably get shot with the Smith and all the rest of them. There ain't no question them. You know, we blessing them. No, 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 no. No. And I came in with the hook. He said, No question that you know I'm blessing them. I came in the hook. We them boss niggas, so we do boss things like rocking icy chains and fat <laughs> ass diamond rings, boss niggas. Like like so so what I'm saying is we niggas wasn't rapping like that in Philly. Right. Cause we cause Philly is a Philly is Philly Philly was a town where niggas whole thing is we get money, we put that shit on, we getting at these broads, we don't want no problem, but if you get out of pocket, I'm gonna pop the shit out of you. That was our rap style. So we so nobody was rapping on that time in the in a in the cadence that we had, we had a different cadence. Right. So, so our whole thing was like, all right, we gonna rap, but we gonna. So we wasn't looking at nobody like it was no competition for us because we wasn't looking at nobody in the same way because everybody had different styles. This this one rap wasn't based off of one thing. Now a lot of dudes feel as though they can't rap if they not rapping like, like you got a lot of dudes out here that can rap. They intimidated because they're like, damn, I can't rap and just do my regular music. I gotta be talking about drilling some shit. I gotta rap like I'm some, from Chicago. I gotta rap Drugs. like I'm from Atlanta. I gotta rap, and it's like, hold up. No, you can rap the way you rap. It's an audience out there for you. Right. But you got to be able to connect with your audience, respect your audience, and know that the audience that might be Meek Mill's audience or Uzi's audience or P&B Rock audience ain't your audience. Your audience might be somebody else. And there's a bunch of people that's looking out there for you, but you're not going to connect with them if you're trying to be like somebody else or worrying about somebody else. Right. Audience. You never know if you might have that special sound. You never know. The people that stick out the most to me, my DM is people that are creative and different because mm -hmm. the niggas that rap the same is just like... The way you compete in that way is who got the most money in the video, the best cars, because you niggas all sound the same. Mm -hmm. So whoever like got the most drip or they flexing the most, that's who wins that competition. But if you are the nigga that stand out, you sound a little different, like you stick out. You stick out to the point for a motherfucker at least say, you hear this weird ass shit? Like at least that enough for somebody to be interested in you. Not none of that dibbity boppity bop bop hippity shoppity that shit y'all be sending me. Go ahead. With them guns pointing at the camera. Mm. Crazy ass niggas.
<laughs> 50 guns in the room. What the fuck are we doing? Like, what are we doing 50 guns, here? 50 niggas, not one bitch. Like, it's so weird. When I grew up, that's how they videos dicks, and 50 shit. 50 dicks. Watching we that day in the no club, shit. they got on leather jackets and Rolexes and shit. Y'all niggas look stanky and scary. Like, I am Damn. scared. I can't fuck you. I'm scared to death. Hey, let's get into <laughs> million dollars worth of game. Me, me, like, me, 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 me. Whatever happened to motherfuckers staying down? With a motherfucker that's that's been riding it out with him, you know we live in we live in an era now where where a motherfucker could put in a bunch of time with you, mm -hmm. help you upgrade your shit, believe in you, and then and I'm talking to the niggas because I see a lot of niggas out here do this, and then soon as you get on your feet, you roll right out on the chick. You looking for an Instagram model. You looking for... All these niggas want to look them, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, Tone? Yeah. Everybody want that 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 piece that when they the walk illusion. in... The illusion. The illusion. That you see on Instagram. That they shit don't want real. a motherfucker that's really down for Really them. down for you. I don't give a fuck what Toot look like. If Toot, Toot went to jail with me, nigga. A lot of these bros ain't going to jail with nobody. Nigga, two went to jail, did 10 days, nigga. Then when we kept, got bailed the fuck out, she said, if I got to do two years, I could do it. That's two. two I ain't know two was Oh, yeah. Hey, like look, I, when we was in Mexico, I found out about shit about two. I, I, two's a rider. Two's different. She She's definitely good. Like, she ain't around because she look good. That's a bonus. That's she a fucking bonus. She do look good. Like, she around because I know she got my motherfucking best interest at heart. I know she's a muff. She's down for me for real. You motherfuckers that have a woman that's down with you for real. But y'all niggas be Elvis Presley out this bitch to get a bad bitch. Oh, I got to have that bad bitch. I need that. And, and, and bad bitch, a bad bitch, as they would say, they ain't right. got nothing to do with how she look. Right. How a chick, how a chick treat you, how she respect you, how she respect you when you ain't around. You know what I'm saying? How she carry your mm. name when you ain't around? Yeah. I'm, do she got a priority in the right? Do she ready to go? Do she is she is she the type of woman that ready to go to sacks and buy some clothes and fuck her money up and can't pay her rent? Or is she the chick that, that no, I'm cool on that. I'm stacking my paper together. I'm getting my credit right. I'm making sure I'm cool. Like what type of woman is she? Right. Or she just want to be lit and just doing it for the gram. Right. And 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 her, and her whole gram person persona persona is more important than y'all relationship. Right. Mm. And these niggas be doing it for the gram. Mm -hmm. These niggas be wanting to take the pictures. Yeah, you got my little bad bitch. Right. That you know what I mean, niggas mm. be looking for that looker. And then they end up with a hooker. <laughs> I played myself the fuck out like that. You know what yeah. I mean? You know how I many niggas be looking for a looker, then they end up with a hooker? You played yourself up how? And then she fuck a bunch of niggas a, and then he gonna pretty, beat up and the pretty, police pretty, gonna buck pretty, pretty face, <laughs> then got you fucked up. So, you was it, so when you were looking, you were on Mona got a pretty face. Tone room. was looking for a look that ended up it. with a hooker. Had then he beat up and the police going book. Well, where did you feel like you made a mistake at? Like where you fuck up at? You was too. Because you was I more knew she was a hoe and I, and I and I tried to save her. Oh, you knew she was a. <laughs> yeah, niggas be knowing. So Captain. you threw your cape on, damn Tone. You never told us you threw your hey, cape on. Hey, hey look, so you I, know I, I appreciate you for keeping it real. Niggas be knowing, bro. You know, niggas be knowing, huh? Hey, look, the bitch niggas is pretty. Be, Every nigga's nigga gonna be hollering something. at her. That's like when you get it, when you get in holler, like you fucking with a pretty bitch, mm. she always gonna have another nigga that's trying to shoot they shot. Can I tell you a secret? That's just a fact. Even yeah. ugly so, bitches so, is like that. But no, 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 no. But but when you got a pretty bitch that like when you walk in and she's the the one in the room that everybody like, goddamn, like to the point to where like I remember we going out like niggas in the club are gonna try to shoot they shot. I'm like, come on, dog, don't you gonna have a bad night? But, <laughs> Damn. But, yeah. hey, 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 look! You, you, hold on, nigga. You had a bad night fucking with me, nigga. Like, <laughs> yo, that was legendary. Dude. That nigga said you gonna have a bad. I, I never heard that. I tell you that when a woman leaves I'm her house, to the, the time shit out a woman comes, comes back in, somebody's trying to fuck her ugly or not. I understand what you're saying, no, though. No, no, but women are approached constantly, constantly, constantly. I don't give a fuck it's, what you say. He told it to you. A ugly chick gonna get approached too, but not like a pretty bitch. Period. What? Oh hey, hey, don't do, hey, don't talk to my bitch, nigga. If I was a man, night, nigga. I wouldn't want the girl that that everybody want. But Yo. niggas get a kick off that. You get a thrill Yo. out of that that you got the best looking. Bitch. No, I'm just saying it's something about. Hey, y'all know y'all be so like that. Hey, hey, if you walking down the street with the bomber and a nigga, nigga say some 
God damn, she got a fat ass. Cause y'all both got real nice looking women. Nick, Nick, yeah, yeah. Low, 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 Hey, look, he gonna go to police officer and make it real quick. Real. See me, see me, I'm different. You feel what I'm saying? Because so I get, I get a kick out of. I sit in the car to the walking. Why, why? She in there? I'm just looking at her walk around, and then every time she walk past a nigga, a nigga like this white man don't matter. They like. Right. I get a kick out that shit. Right. Now, a nigga trying to see me with my woman and you still going, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we going all the way there. Yeah. We going yeah. all the way there. He's going to have a bad night. He's going to have a bad life. He's going to have a fucked up. One of us going night going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> somebody got to die. Somebody, somebody night definitely going to be the fuck bad because now you disrespected me as a man. You looked at me and said, oh, fuck you, you bitch ass nigga, man. What's up? Okay, so cool. Now the respect as men go out the window because I'm never the type of nigga. I don't give a fuck if I was single. If I never would see a nigga with a bitch, I don't give a fuck what this nigga look like. He look like the ultimate pussy. I'm never disrespecting this man more. at all. Correct. That Correct. I, I just don't live by that code because I understand that a nigga will kill you about his bitch. Yes, as a female, I will that shit down is you about too. You fucking disrespect <laughs> me. I will Talk, down speak, speak the it. shit out you. And, yep, and it's two scary. folk come see me up the motherfucking joint. You will never <laughs> play with my motherfucking wife. That's why you thought I wasn't on love and hip hop. Because soon as they, I told them, y'all never, y'all not, this shit ain't made up. This shit is 20 plus years. Right. You're not going to have a bitch hit my wife. Mona's going to be on the motherfucking ground right. ass naked. Right. <laughs> Damn. Security and not you, Mona Lisa Scott. I know. I yeah, know. you're fucking right. Why Mona Scott. Yeah, everybody, I just got a thing when, from back in the day when I used to put that thing on me to take fuck clothes off. Okay, <laughs> so that's just your that's thing. Some shit. Yeah. 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 He love for men to take their clothes off, but he, when he got his gun out, yeah, that is spicy. He though, like to have his gun out. So so he he Bow, take that shit off. Bow. No, I just made a couple niggas leave out the studio ass naked. That's all. That that is spicy though. Hey, nigga, take your shit off, nigga. Right, then throw niggas off. If you one of the rappers that had strip naked <laughs> comment below you walk out like this and all your jeans <laughs> that's some old other shit man that's back in the day man <laughs> that is crazy, that's back bro. in the day man stop bringing up old shit i changed my life <laughs> fuck wrong with you there's two things about us that you niggas can't say we changed our lives we good yeah ain't nobody yeah i'm dumb saying because i'm keeping all the way real you i know? don't know why men are that deserving because i what i skid a lot is like a nigga wait till you with a guy wait, wait what they, the fuck did you say? i don't know why men do that i'm what? saying that i don't know why men do that because i don't know what woman would actually be like oh here's my number you know what i mean even if i'm with a male friend that's not my nigga i don't like the whole when he turns his back you like what's up what's up Shit. because certain, if you was with that nigga from brooklyn and chris brett and trey songs was like this i'm not responding to this if tony the tiger was like no. like get, get in the land Get in the lamb. Yeah, yeah. Lamb talk. Let me lamb you. I'm a lamb you. He said, I'm a. I ride said, the bus with my nigga. I would never get off the that's bus. That's right. Use a real one. Use a real one. The fuck out. I ride that bus, but you can ride that lion like a real one. Fuck you. Like a like a You ain't shit. You ain't shit. No, I would never. I would never get off the bus with my man. I ride the bus with my man. Lying like a bitch. We don't ride the bus, but She'll I will. She be giving up yams in the lamb. Listen, I don't know why men do that. I just feel like if you're trying to holler at me and you think it's my nigga, so we're being sneaky, it's like you almost calling me a hoe. So why would I give you my number? Like, because I got a lot of male friends. Girl, you know what time it is. He wanted a pussy. He ain't trying to make you that his girl. That shit is disrespectful. No, it's, but that's what I'm saying. I would never. Like, I don't know the woman that would say, here, take my okay, number. Okay, okay. And then even if you gave him your number, how could y'all ever be anything more than just a fuck? Exactly. Man? He know he got you when exactly. you was with a nigga. That's what I'm trying trying to say like it's the whole spirit and it's offensive it's almost like when a guy that fucked your friend tries to holler at you i always get offended by that like i'm never like like oh that's all you but think i'm cute with a check? i don't give a fuck because you still violate you just say you're gonna you drop your name on the lambo you say you're gonna leave that nigga on the Stop. bus oh, i'm serious if you fucked one of my girlfriend's family members anything you ever fuck for a buck? no never mm. Now, I fuck for a book like in the traditional way. We boyfriend and girlfriend, that type of way, but not like fuck. Ain't that crazy? So, you could so, be under the It's a total so, different so, thing. So, so, so I never, never fucked a nigga left money on the dresser. Never. I've never met somebody and fucked them. I've never had a one night stand or nothing. They want me to be the whole so bad. So they want me to be whole so bad. So let me ask you a question. So you never gave up some pussy and the nigga just left you some money on the dresser? Damn. My nigga? My nigga? No, wait a minute. My nigga has left money. Wait, hold on. You fucked a nigga that wasn't your nigga before. Yes, I had. And they never left no money on the dresser. 
Fuck <laughs> I'm yeah, up. I've had somebody I'm fucking with trash. Lamar, but I'm fucking with him. No, you're not going to do that. I'm, 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 right, you're right, not right. going to do that. All right, I'm just going to say the pussy ain't good. The pussy's <laughs> amazing. That's <laughs> the <laughs> truth. Nah, niggas leave. It is. Bring a lie detector in here. Let me tell you when the pussy's amazing, it is. You don't even have to ask. Oh, right. Yeah, me. Nigga go give you cash app for all that ass back. Yeah, me. True. So he never cash app you left no. You just got a cash app because of me. <laughs> like I told you, you didn't, even, you didn't even fucking cash. Oh, already had up. a cash app. I'm Shut like, up. How the fuck I'm supposed to I pay you? Had- you ain't got no fucking cash app. You ain't got no fucking cash. So I knew nigga want cash app for some ass I already back. Had a cash app. And they joking. wasn't leaving no paper on the dress up. <laughs> Pussy and trash. He's joking. He's trying to make me walk down that. I'm not a prostitute. So you can't sing that Cardi B and Megan. Stallion song. No, she cannot yeah, sing right. whack. Yeah, okay. She can sing. Tat, I started to change my whack, Instagram pussy, whack. name. No, she she can sing. Tat. Whack, don't call I me like that. Tat. I got that tap. Trash ass pussy. I got that tap. <laughs> the pussy good. I that ain't whack. Worry about it. I ain't worried uh, about but 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 a nigga okay. from Delaware told me he said the pussy ain't shit, but the head is all. Oh, yeah, ain't nobody tell you that. I'm telling you, little Dirty Raheem from Wilmington. Dirty Raheem yeah, to be in the no. rap video. Little dirty Raheem from Wilmington. No, call up here if you fuck me. Call up here, please, and tell your story. Come on. Hold on. Mine about to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we got to give him a number on the bottom for him to call. Call up here. Call tell 1-800. Me. I pop How white girl. That motherfucking line be going crazy. Yeah, confident. Gil. confident. Tell him. No, Gil, the way she threw the balls and the dick in her mouth at the same is amazing. The pussy little loosey goosey, but she got three <laughs> kids, Bill. So you know that's explainable. I got two oh, kids. Oh, two kids. She got two stop goosey, playing with me. and they both weigh nine pounds, six ounces when they came I up. Only so had the pussy one little to pussy little toy. I had one C-section. Little loosey goosey, but you could tell it ain't loosey goosey. All jokes aside, I kids. really am a vibe, and I'm a good time. I am. Mm. All right, this is still out here. So when you give a nigga head, I changed a nigga whole life. When you give a nigga head, how long do you? How long do you suck the dick before he got it? You ready? For, you ready for my answer? Yeah, I need to know. None of your fucking business. Oh, damn, you won't give up no good head. Fuck, you talking about these questions is crazy. I'm just saying. I'm look, trying. Look at the sound guy. I, 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 I want to know. He can't answer. believe it. No, no, he no. He can't no, fucking I, believe I, the shit that goes on in here. You got listen. two more taps. No, because listen. She keeps saying no, that she gonna fuck you up. Fuck, I'm gonna fuck him up. Because listen, you 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 throwing your fishing, you throwing your line out there in the water. Yeah, she stay fishing on Instagram. So good. So Damn. we trying, trying to tell trying niggas what, the what they in store for. You don't try to Me hear what the got, got, got This, this more ain't this month with this. That's not what's going on over here. <laughs> Last week y'all tried to auction the pussy off. Listen. This is my kitty cat. You I see, decide what to I'll do. I'll be seeing it. you on Instagram DM me. fishing. <laughs> at I fish sometime here and there. I twerk and everything. You, you can cash at me and get in my close friends. That kitty cat like this now. No, when I was a kid, it would go <laughs> meow. Yeah. Now it goes rawr. I got yeah, a tiger. Say, DM hey. me. Let's talk about it. <laughs> that be like, DM me. Let's and I just got a vajayshul this week. It was amazing. That motherfucker be like rawr. When last time you got a vajayshul? What? A vajayshul is a facial for your vagina. I went to Smitty Kitten. She with that. You could get it. Fuck is wrong with you? I was saying you had a pussy. It was just a joke, but they do it for penises too. It was a joke, but they do it for penises too. Fuck wrong with us. Y'all can get a PJ show. Shout out to Smith and Kiss. This coochie. pussy she here, need, she brand needed, new. She needed you got a coochie, amazing. She needed you got a coochie but, butt. But she needed <laughs> the <laughs> coochie. She needed the vajay show. I ain't need shit, but I got. Was beat up. Listen, do y'all want to hear about the vajay show? Do y'all want to hear about it? That shit was beat up. It was amazing. No, it was. They had to throw some vinegar in. No, they don't do it. They don't part snap the C. Ladies back. at home, never part your C. Never part your C, ladies. When you're doing stuff, most stuff is topical. So it's for the outside of the cat, not the inside. Learn about a kitty cat, little girl. Anyway, if a J show is a full <laughs> wax, including the butt. There's no hair. You know, you're supposed to get rid of all the hair every 30 days. There's nothing <laughs> down there. The coochie, and then they do a mask. And then she does a demi thermal to like guarantee that you won't have any breakouts and ingrown hairs. It's oh. nice. It's nice. And she play uh, like smooth CB. jazz in the back out. Hey, listen, I, I think all y'all treat all y'all to one. Tap it in, man. We out here. Yeah, Smitty Kitten. Shot in his ass, no, he, he, he lied. He lied. He lied. A colonoscopy. Yeah, he he lied six he's had one. six yeah. since he's been out. They got six of them in three years, man. That's crazy. Listen, man. They like, dog, you ain't got nothing Wallo's in your ass, very comfortable taking his shit. I will say that. Let me tell you something. But we appreciate you tapping in each and every week. 
He takes shit to everywhere. He don't give a Burger fuck. King bathrooms and everything. He don't have no shame. Hey. Tapping the Rona proof. Man, he hey, listen, yeah, bro. different type of nigga, hey, man. Matter of fact, before we get out of here, man, make sure y'all tapping the Rona proof. Rona each and proof. every Sunday, nigga. Each and every Sunday, 3 o'clock p.m. RonaProof.com. Big facts. Big facts. Tone is making y'all that paper. Tone made over a million plus dollars for motherfuckers, man. That's what's up, 1. man. 1.2. 1.2 million. Black what? lives really do matter. Just doing I'm corona. I'm next. I'm trying to get some no, new no, titties. Just during the corona, corona. time. Just pandemic. it's only through yep. corona. During the pandemic. Million plus. www.ronaproof.com. In four plus months. Yep. That's what's up, man. I know. I got to get in. I got to jump in this shit. Fuck Everybody it. keep talking. And that's one of the things. Like a, a lot of people be hitting me up like, hey, I got to get started. I want to get started. But y'all not taking the steps because the people that's doing it, they already send you, know you the their truth, checks. Though, you want to know the truth? It's intimidating. And the same that's way. A, but that's the crazy part. I heard you say it's intimidating. You want to hear from the customer? Like, yeah. Because they, yeah. they even come to my DM like, yo, what's up with him? Because I sit next to you. They want to know. But I just feel like. You, y'all doing more than sitting next to each other. It's so much shit. I, honestly, Tony, it's so much shit. Just like, look at what's going on with you and Jay Morrison. People wake up every day and see shit like that and frankly it just scares them especially because they're this is our, our own people because we judge each other like that yeah but i feel like the thing I, I like about your program the most is there's so many testimonials of real people it'd be on live motherfuckers be right there i make this i make that i make that they be talking yep. and they real pages they not fake people so and that's the key is like right now people understanding that it's not in, it, you shouldn't be intimidated because i literally give you 10 steps and you just do it in order and i give it to you free on the webinar so it's fucking free so Ronaproof.com every Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come learn the 10 steps to learn how to get paid from home. All right. Hey, listen, man. We appreciate y'all for tapping in each and every week for with, with us making us the number one music podcast in the country. Please, BarstoolSports.com. Merch. Get your merch. Get, get your, your merch. merch. Get your merch. Man, we truly appreciate y'all guys. Bye. Go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow 267. Don't call me white girl. It's only the closer. Tackler. It's just like that. Right. Bye.